Hi guys, it's a super bright morning, really, really bright. And I'm inside the poultry unit. And today, we've woken up with good news. Ta-da! Guys, take a look over there. We have a brand new baby calf. You can see the mother right here. Actually, you can even still see the placenta. Now, I won't go very close because the mother will become really, really defensive. I can zoom in, but you can see the placenta, it's still hanging out right there. And the calf, the calf is right in the background over there. I don't know if I can get to the front so you guys can see her. Right there guys, right hidden in the grass is the baby calf. And why did I call it her? Probably because we are desperate for female calves. We've got too many males. I think 18 in a row, 18 males in a row. I certainly want that one to be female. I won't get close by because that woman might not be very, very friendly to me. And this is one of the older cattle on the farm. It's not very young. It's probably around seven or eight years old. It's already feeding. The calf has been delivered just maybe a few minutes ago, maybe 20, 30 minutes ago. So it hasn't taken its first steps. I really want to find out the gender of the calf, but I won't try stimulating the wrath of that cow. So I'll move away for now. Hopefully it will stand up soon and I will take a look at it. In the meantime, guys, you remember that last time out we were having a problem with the chickens. You know, the males were over mounting the females and they were dying. We are solving that right now. You can see our local chickens right here with some of our white duopus birds over here. They look lovely, you know, most of them are roosters. You can see them. We have quite a number of females though in the background over there. Lots of females relaxing from there in that area. The feeders are empty right now. By the way guys, I still have some of the white roosters, you know, I've sold quite a number. Maybe half of them, but I still have some. So in case you want one and you're in Uganda and you're close by, come on, hit me up. I leave an email in the link below. I want to prioritize the YouTube viewers. You know, I could put it on Facebook and Instagram, but I haven't yet because I want the YouTube viewers to be the ones to get these birds. Really, really good birds, you know, if they cross with your local chickens. Very, very good birds. You can see them right here, you know, quite a number. And right there in the distance, you can see the guinea fowls. Yeah, that's the guinea fowls. Oh, you can see the guinea fowl chasing the chicken. <laughs> it just chased the chicken. And they are together with the chicken that thinks it's the guinea fowl. There it is. You can see it, you know. That's the only chicken that can chill with the guinea fowls. The rest, the guinea fowls would fight with. So, it's really amazing what happens on the farm. Now, you might wonder why the cow is inside the chicken fencing. Guys, it's because in the morning we noticed that the cow is in labor. It was having serious labor cramps. So we didn't want it to go and deliver from the field while the rest of the cattle have gone to feed right now. So the prudent thing to do would be to bring it inside the, this chicken area. It's not a danger to the chickens. Actually, the chickens love the cow dung because after the cow has pooped, after some time, you know, a day or two, you'll have insects develop in there and the chickens will just come and start scratching and enjoying it. So they love it. So that's why we put it in here. So now it has delivered and it's going to stay in here for the day. I mean, after that, we shall get it out. Now you might wonder why the white birds and the local chickens haven't been fed. Well, it's because we were feeding the duopus birds that stay inside here. Now over there, you can see my colleague. Yeah? He helps me work inside the duopus birds and the local chickens and everything in here. He works just one person. The other day someone was asking on the channel, I think you have a very big team to help you run the farm. Guys, you don't need too many people to help you run the farm. This whole section is just run by one person. Well, together with me. So it's not complicated. It's feeding the animals and just cleaning up. So the birds inside here, the duopus birds are already feeding. Let's take a look. Let's go and see them. Okay. You can see the females. This section has the females. Guys, I've been quite occupied recently, so I didn't manage to put cones on top of the laying boxes. The laying boxes need cones so that we don't have all this poop messing up everything. We, this is really messing up stuff. So, but you can see that the chickens are actually laying eggs in here. Yeah, you can see the eggs right there. I actually see an egg here that has just been laid. Okay, an egg that has just been laid over here. Beautiful, yeah? So I'll fix it in here. Okay. So we are going to clean this up today. And then I'm going to make cones, well not cones, but you know, a shape to put on top to ensure that the birds don't step onto it. And then the other side we have the males, that's the roosters. They have been separated by this, this mesh. You can see the mesh, yeah? 
we separated them using this mesh because they were overmounting the females, so they are staying that side. <laughs> Let's go outside and see the fence. You guys can see the fence being built. So right here, guys, you can see that we are making the fence. You can see that it goes right through the middle of this chicken house, right through the division. So that side, we have the males, and this side, we have the females. And this is the fence. This place that hasn't been worked on is going to be a gate. So we're going to fix a gate in here, you know, for us to be able to move through and take things the other side and this side. And you can see the fence. So over here, we have the drinking area for the chickens that are going to be on this half, which is actually the bigger section because we also have the other chicken house in this area. This one has the local chickens. It has our white breeders. This one has the dual pass buds. So this drinker over here, the local chickens use it. Even the geese over there use it. And then the one the other side, it will be used by the males on the other side. I think we shall also send the geese to the other side because right there we have the swimming pool for the geese. You know, the place where they do their bathing. Um, I'll move there right away, yeah? So this is where the geese do their bathing. Uh, if I remove it, you will notice. <laughs> We have water in there, but right now they are not interested because it's smothering and then over here You can see there are some guys cutting some wood eucalyptus and some holes have been dug up here This is exactly where we are going to be placing the other drinking area just like the one we have over there in the background We're going to be placing it right here, and then we'll have two separate drinking areas We're going to be tapping the water from this kitchen area And here guys we have our well little house for the gooselings it's the little chicken tractor inside is the goose that hatched just three gooselings one should have been eaten by a predator honestly we can't even trace why it disappeared too one died because it came out and the mother left before it was warmed enough and then one is still existent so they are right here if you come close you know she will just start being violent and I mean, the gander is always around this area. So you can see the gander right there in the background, yeah? The gander is always trying to protect them. I don't understand. I don't know when the gander ever eats because the goose and the gosling have feed inside there. But the gander is just ever around here. I don't know if he ever moves away to look for food. Oh, guys, a female at last. A female. Oh, my God. Guys, she is female. <laughs> oh, my God. After 16, 17 straight males, we finally got a female. So she finally stood up. Unfortunately, I missed the standing up. It would have been nice to record the very first few steps of the calf. But guys, it's female! Oh my god, lots of good news. I'm so excited, I'm so happy. <sighs> it feels like a burden has been lifted off. Thank <laughs> you. 